Afternoon guys, hope you're all doing well. Not smoking anything as of now, but I'm going to have a bowl of Wessex Red Virginia Flick. Um, this is a tobacco I picked up in in Spain maybe two or three years ago. Um, I got a few tins. I opened this one another week. Um, nice flakes. I'm sure this is a tobacco that quite a few of you will have tried, of course. Wessex being extremely hard to get your hands on just now. It doesn't appear to be kind of in stock anywhere, I believe. Um, which is quite annoying. There's three or four Wessex blends I've tried over the years that I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, as people know, that Wessex seems to be one of those brands that when it is in stock, it sells out almost instantly these days and when it and if it's not in stock it doesn't seem to have been in stock for quite a while so yeah that's what i'm going to be smoking after i film this for you guys i'll probably have it in my radice silk cup as that's my main red virginia smoker but the purpose of this video is to document uh the pipe you can see in front of you not this one um that's the super green offer i finished up last week uh that's on the website this is here is in the 1920s 1930s unsmoked new old stock red point old briar that uh you might have seen on my channel maybe two or three months ago um i purchased this in an antique shop in edinburgh I found it was kind of tucked in the back. I thought I'll have kind of I'll have to have that. Um, I always like to buy kind of tobacchiana and different antique pipes when I get the chance. What I didn't realise when I bought it was it was unsmoked, um, which was pretty amazing. I w I was pretty sure it was unsmoked from the chamber. Kind of it's completely natural. It's, you know, it's obviously very aged briar, um, very dark aged briar, but it's completely spotless and managed to clean up the stem and again the airway is completely spotless so it's confirmed a completely new old stocked pipe the stem as you can see has this really nice patina i'm not sure if it actually ever was black just now obviously it's very old and from my research and from other people's opinions and research looks to be 1920s, 1930s. Um, the stem's kind of this really rich, kind of dark brown, kind of dark chocolate brown. Um, probably can't see it too well on camera. The light in here still isn't fantastic. Um, but of course, so, so kind of, I've sanded it back, taken off a lot of the oxidization, and it's come out here like this. Yeah, it's really nice. I like the patina to it. Um, I have polished up the silver, get a really nice shine, it pops really well. Stem fits really well actually. Um, the stem was not the easiest thing to actually get out the pipe. Um, it took me about 20 minutes, I had to kind of heat up the base of the stem, kind of a lot of work to carefully take it out of the mortise. I had suspect it had probably been in there for 50 or 60 years probably if not since since it was produced um so you can imagine a stem even though it's an unsmoked pipe you can imagine a stem that's been in a mortise for the best part of 70 or 80 years uh isn't the easiest thing to remove it but yeah so i've got it all back restored the silver has strained up really well the rest of the pipe is buffed up too, got some nice grain and of course that very nice ornate carving on the front of the pipe. One cap. Could probably still polish up parts of it a little bit more but for an overall look I think it's fantastic. Probably gonna put it up on eBay actually. Um, I've sold a few antique pipes on eBay before, but I, I think that that seems to be the biggest market for kind of 
roof vintage pipes. Um, or in this, or or in this case, this qualify this classifies as a proper antique pipe, being holders. Um, but yes, yeah, so I, I thought I'd share because I I do recall sharing when I first got it, and kind of in the kind of patinaed condition, the stem was extremely oxidised and was pretty much stuck in the mortise. So kind of to, to kind of sort it all bring it back to life. I think it looks fantastic now. Um, yeah, so something I always enjoy, and I would always encourage you if you're ever in kind of antique shops, if you're in kind of car boot sales, garage sales, um, any antique markets or just markets in general, I would always encourage you that if you do come across kind of t kind of tabacchiana or antique pipes, to really give it a look, and I'd encourage you if it's an antique pipe to buy it, restore it yourself, kind of. It's always great to kind of bring these things back to life. At least that's what I really enjoy, kind of to bring it a, to bring it a second life. Although it's technically never had one, as it is surprisingly unsmoked. That was definitely the biggest surprise with this pipe. And in fact, I, I mentioned this before. It comes with the original tag, which kind of emphasises how new old stock it is. So yeah, that's fantastic. Oh yeah, just wanted to come on, highlight that. I uh, don't want to keep you for too much longer. Hope everyone has had a good week. Uh, this is Thursday just now. I'll probably put this out on Friday for you guys to watch. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, I'm hoping to maybe have a cigar on Saturday uh, if the weather's all been if the weather's well. Although that's TBC. Uh, and for those of you like me who are into F1, it's the return of F1 after the summer break. So looking forward to it, watching that over the, the weekend, come the Grand Prix on Sunday. But yeah, go and take care. Have a great weekend. Cheers.